Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the Patreon supporting this channel. Okay, so let's head up into the orcframework.com page and from here click on uh, Guide Tutorials. Then in the 3D Action RPG, click on Start 3D Action RPG link. Scroll a little bit down and you will see this download the complete project. Click on that one and then we have this button to download the complete tutorial project. So click here and uh, let's download the full project. And put it anywhere you liked. So I will select my D drive where I place the tutorials and click on save. Once you have the file, right click on it and uncompress it. So I will extract here. And after extracting the file, I will right away change the name of the project or the folder and I will call it in this time, let's say, um, Lining Returns Final Fantasy 13. I do have already POC here, but uh, let's just call it like so. And after you have renamed the file, open the folder and you will see the Unity Project Extractor. So I will just copy my uh, handy project launcher here and I will edit to change the path. So let's copy the path to the command line argument. It is already set to uh, launch the project using unity 2020.3.29 i believe actually i have uh, yeah that's the last one i have so that's okay let's save the changes and then we can safely double click on this bat file since the uh, tutorial was made or the demo was made with a previous uh, Unity tutorial, uh, Unity version, engine version, you will prompt it to continue and upgrade the project. It will take a little bit because it needs to now uh, re-import all the assets. So I will just pause the video until it's finished. So once the project has been loaded, I will go into the window menu then package manager and start cleaning up and removing modules that i don't want so let the package manager do its things to load and uh, i'll pause the video again and it took almost eight minutes to open this window because in my last project i forgot to switch from my assets back to the in project I will say that this is uh, well. Yeah, I won't. I won't. I won't say anything else. Okay, so let's go and uh, let's remove this one, the code editor. Let the editor compile, and uh, I will remove the jet brains and the version control. I don't want. So let's remove jet brains. I'm not using Raider at all. I will never do. Let's uh, remove the version control as well. By the way, this is version control is nothing uh, to do with the Git. Uh, this is the new uh, version control that uh, Unity bought. Uh, I think it's not free, so well, 
I'm not using it. The Trace Framework, uh, we cannot uh, remove it because it's bound to the Visual Studio Editor, so let's leave it at, like so. I won't bother to update it. And then I'm going to switch to the uh, Unity Registry, and from here what I'm going to do is add, of course, the 2D, uh, 2D Sprite. Then I'm going to add the Cinema Machine. which surprisingly the suggested version is 2.6 but if we expand the other versions you see verify 2.6 but the latest version is 2.8 so I will select that one click on install and for now it's pretty much it. I will be adding more packages later on, but let me switch back to the unit in project so I won't get in this uh, mistake last time and close the package manager. Because this is a complete project, we already have, for example, Text Mesh uh, Pro installed. But what we want to do now, as uh, uh, per the guy suggest, is to click on this Gaming is Love project folder and then in the data we have also Machinum 2, so click on Machinum 2 folder, right click on it and uh, select Reimport. This is to fix some um, linking to the to the tutorial assets and uh, to not get uh, warnings about missing scripts so let it import then we need to do the same here in the tutorial assets we have this expand that folder and then we have this underscore created folder so click on that one then right click and click on uh, select reimport Okay, so after doing that, let's go to the window menu and click on Gaming is Love and then uh, either Orc Framework Machinum or Machinum Editor. So we should get the new editor coming with uh, Orc Framework 3 and uh, which is uh, also Machinum. And you can see that I'm using version 2.3 for Machinum uh, or Machinum and uh, uh, 3.2 for ORC but this is the uh, free tutorial uh, version I will switch to the full version in a bit but what I want to do here in the first place is go to the editor settings and change some things uh, to my taste which is uh, the editor help display I would like to have it using a button and uh, the text uh, color for the help tooltips I like it to be yellowish it's up to you of course so I will do so and click on save I want to create a backup of course and click confirm Every single time I click to uh, switch to the use button help, I get this error here, but uh, well, I think it's something that I need to report later on. But after doing this, uh, we can go to check every tab with the uh, tutorial information, classes, combatants, um, inventory, equipment, equipment slots, and uh, let's close it up and the next step I want to do is to make sure that this game builds properly okay so let me go to the console and clear the messages and then uh, we can go to the edit menu then select the project settings and from, from here we can select the player 
option and uh, I will add of course the company name I will use my rusted games uh, name and then in the product name um, you can put whatever you like here I will leave it as it is right now uh, 3d action RPG and then if we uh, select uh, scroll down we see that the color space it to gamma I always like to change it to linear because it gives you um, more quality in the in the uh, in the renders so let's switch to linear change to linear select it and it will take a little bit to convert all the textures to the new color space so I will pause the video okay so the color space change uh, finish scroll down until we see the configuration script back end and I will switch it to IL intermediate language to C++ and I leave it uh, the .NET standard 2.0 as it is okay actually let me change the product name let's do something more interesting like Tales of Valhalla <laughs> okay so close the uh, project settings let's navigate into uh, the scenes folder and we have the main scene here so we click on it and uh, let's select this point point click F to focus on the game object and here is where the Helen will be spawned so let's click play and see how it goes and there we have it so linear space is working properly so let's click on ctrl P to stop play mode now as always I like to have an empty scene so let's create a empty scene and double click on it and I will go to file build settings make sure you have PC and Mac standalone and Windows X64 and then click on build you will be prompt to select a folder to build your executable so let's create a new folder here and call it builds and select folder and let it build I will pause the video again okay so the game build up let's double click on it on the executable and everything is still working as expected okay so let's close the window and let's continue the next video by starting importing uh, the some resources and f assets that we use on the previous video unfortunately there is no um, upgrade tool yet so we need to basically start from scratch because also there is a lot of breaking changes and a lot of things that change in the API and how things works now in the new version so uh, that's why I chose uh, to start from this uh, template or let's say this uh, game demo because it already contains a lot of stuff that we can just start modifying so thank you for watching and see you on the next video